everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's having a wonderful day and a wonderful week and today i'm going to be doing a first impressions and tutorial using the wicked widow beauty hard times palette this is what it looks like on the front this is inspired by Haley williams from paramore and the hard times album and I absolutely love it. I love Paramore and I'm so excited. And then I opened it and I saw this gorgeous summery sunsetty color story and I'm living for it. I don't have any palettes like this in my collection and I'm excited to pick, play with these cute colors. I think it would be perfect for a cute summer look. And the collection also came with three liquid lipsticks. The, their first one is Ain't It Fun. This is that bright pink shade. And then Fake Happy, which is this cute mustard yellow. And then the last one is Crush, which is this bright orange. And all of these dry down matte. I'm going to wear one with my look and the other two I will swatch for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing this look, keep on watching okay guys before I get into my look I'm going to give my accessory details my cute little ice cream skulls they're super duper adorable the ice cream cone skulls uh, these are from the little spooky shop and I found them on Instagram and the shop does live sales on Instagram throughout the week and if you just keep looking at their story you'll find out when their next live sale is and they're really good and they're adorable and unique earrings and they have pretty good prices as well I will put their Instagram down below in the description box so let's get into the video first I'm going to go in with the shade brighter which is this gorgeous lime chartreuse color and that's a matte I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop E9 brush and just put this on the outer parts of my crease. My eyelids are primed. Also, this bow is from Dream Love Bows. It's a Beauty and the Beast bow, and I love it. It is super cute. I will also put that shop down below as well. They have really adorable mostly Disney themed bows. So if you're interested in bows and Disney, I think this would be super cute. These lashes are also from Avalux and I saw these on Instagram um, on my like feed or whatever. It was like an advertisement, but I saw these cute lashes and they have like tints of color in them or like little parts of the lashes that are uh, like a touch of a color and it's super cute. So these ones are in the style of Barbia. These lashes have little flares of pink in them right on the outside and then right in the inner uh, corner area. And I think they are so freaking adorable. I love these lashes. I've been definitely experimenting with new things, especially colored lashes because I kind of fell in love with them and they're different and they're very unique and they can kind of make a look a little bit different and creative so I like doing that. And I'm only putting this on the outer part of my crease. I'm not going all the way through. And this shadow is really pigmented I really love this shade. It's super cute and bright. And next I'm gonna go in with the shade Daydreaming, which is this beautiful hot pink matte shade. Take my Hip Dye MCR blending crease brush and put that in the inner parts of my crease. It's really cute because in the middle it makes like an orange and it's a nice little sunset fade to it. And that's turning out so cute. Ok 
Okay, this is what we're looking like so far. I'm really loving it. It's so bright and colorful and it's summery and springy. And I really don't go for like super bright colors in my on my eyes a lot. Like I do really dark and grungy looks a lot. So doing a bright eye look is really fun actually and it kind of puts me out of my comfort zone and I can start creating different looks and kind of jumping into things and colors that I'm not used to and you never know you might like it so it's good to try some new stuff. Next I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer with a flat brush and this is the ColourPop E18 brush. I'm just going to do a half cut crease. Alright, now our eyes are all glitter primed. I'm going to go in with this gorgeous duochrome shade Decode. I was obsessed with this song in middle school. It's so hilarious. I love it. And it's actually a good song. You know, it was from Twilight and I really liked it and don't hate on me. So I'm going to go in with Decode. I'm going to put that all over my crease. I'm going to put this all over my lid. Ooh, this is such a stunning color. It's like, look at that reflect. Hold on, let me turn my brightness down. It's so pretty. It's like a shift to like an orange, to a yellow, to a green. It's really beautiful. I think this definitely added the perfect touch to this look so far. And it's going on so well and it's very smooth and like sort of a wet type super shock almost material or texture. Okay. okay, and this is what we're looking like so far. I'm loving it. It's so cute, guys. I know I keep saying it's so cute, but it is, and I'm loving it. So I want to put something on the lower lash line. Let me see. I'm going to... I'm going to go in with the shade Riot, this bright matte orange right here. Drag that all on my lower lash line and leave the inner part of my lower lash line blank. I'm taking the ColourPop E26 brush. Now that we did that, I think it added a really cute touch to the look. I'm loving all of the pink and yellow and orange vibes to this look. It's so cute. And let's see what we're gonna do next. Um, in the inner part of my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Still Into You, which is another duochrome shade right here. And lastly, I'm going to put the shade Conspiracy, this champagne -y white type shimmer. I'm going to put that on my inner corner. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Okay, that's just what this needed. I'm excited to see how everything looks with all of the rest of my face on. So I will be back putting on my mascara and lips and all that jazz. I will be right back with the final look. Okay guys, I am back with the final look. What do you guys think? I think this look turned out absolutely stunning and gorgeous. It has to be honestly one of my favorite looks that I've done so far. I really mean that. 
and I just think it turned out just so cute and different than what I've normally done. I tried a couple different new things. I wanted to try out the I got these Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics Multi Chrome Eyeliner Pens and this is a very beautiful orangey, orangey yellow shift to it and this is in the shade of Flame. I put that in my waterline because I thought it played very well with the orange and yellow in this look. And I also tried something a little bit different. I used some graphic water activated liner. I got these from Gavis Beauty. And I did one of those build your own bundle palette deals that they had going on. So the water activated liner that I used for this look is this orange mango color. And this is called Mango Sunrise. I think it was a perfect cute touch to this look. You guys can see that the, it is lining the crease on this look and then I did a hollow cute wing with it and I thought it just looked really really cute with this look. And for my liquid lipstick I went in with the shade Crush that is a beautiful orange, bright orange vibrant in your face type of color and um, I wanted to try something different because I never tried like an orange liquid lipstick but it actually kind of leans a little bit orangey red on me and I don't mind that I think it's really cute I think it turned out very well I think it went very well with this look and if you guys are wondering what the other two liquid lipstick shades look like this is fake honey which is the type of mustardy yellow color and this is ain't it fun which is a hot pink and these are what the swatches look like I'm sorry it's extremely messy but these two are what the shades look like and they, they draw do dry down matte so I do think that they would be very comfortable in the lips so far these are really comfortable in the lips so I'm excited and I just had a lot of fun playing with the Wicked Widow Beauty Hard Times palette and collection. I love the way my look turned out so, so freaking much. I can't wait to keep playing with this palette. I love the color story. It's just so vibrant and summery. And it's so cute. And also, if you guys are interested in anything in the collection, I do have a discount code with Wicked Widow Beauty. The discount code is insidious underscore artistry20 or artistry10 for money off. I will definitely put that at the bottom of the screen when I go back and check again. And I will link all of the details and products that I used in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and first impressions. And I hope you guys check out Wicked Widow Beauty. It's an amazing indie brand. And they've been coming out with some rockin' items lately. So I can't wait to see what they have coming up in the future. If you guys did enjoy my video and enjoyed watching me, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel and become a little part of the Insidious Squad. And yeah, I will also link my accessory details below, as I said earlier in the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.